Grade 8 Math, number 8.3c, Elimination Method, know when to add or subtract the equations. We said in the previous video the elimination method is another method used to solve a system of linear equations. And one variable is eliminated by adding or subtracting the two equations of the system to get a single equation on one in one variable. And we write the equations so they're stacked vertically, nice and neatly, with the terms lined up. And we can tell we need to subtract instead of add because both equations will have an identical variable term. Okay? So let's take a look. I've got four sets of equations here, four systems of equations. Now let's look at this first one. Now, you can see I already wrote we add these, but why? They both have a Y here with that invisible one in front of it, but they're not the same. One's a positive and one's a negative. So this doesn't have any variable terms that are identical. So this one is going to be an addition problem. See? Plus and minus is not the same thing, okay? So let's take a look at this. Now this would be subtracted because these are two positive uh, two x's here. Positive two x over a positive two x. So we would subtract this. These two are identical. See that? That would be a subtraction problem. All right, let's take a look at this one. They both have a zero back here, but it's not the same. These are constants. That's not a variable term. The rule is it has to be identical variable term, okay? And that's not a variable term, so that's going to be addition. We're going to add these, okay? Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, they both have a, three, a positive 3y, don't they? So yeah, we would subtract these. And if they were both negative 3y, then we would subtract that. So it doesn't matter if they're both negative or both positive, as long as they're identical. Okay? And it can't be a constant. It's got to be a variable term. It's got to be in one of these spots when it's in standard form. Okay? Alright? So that's how you know whether to add or subtract when you're doing elimination. Alright? A lot of your tests are going to have the addition or subtraction uh, sign already there for you. But this is helpful when you're doing a word problem and you're trying to write the equations yourself and you're trying to figure out whether to add or subtract. Right? Okay, we're going to move on to 8.3D, and we're going to actually do some subtraction and graph them to check our answer. All right, I'll see you there. Bye.